Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 58 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tip you could do with the histogram. Now, two or three days ago, I received an email from someone and they told me about this thing you could do with the histogram. And they wondered if I knew about it and they suggested that I do a video on it. And I can't remember if it was my Learn Lightroom 5, Learn Lightroom 6, or Lightroom Quick Tips, but definitely in a previous video, I mentioned this in passing, and I really didn't go into too much detail on it. Quite frankly, I never use it, and I don't think it's that useful. But after I received his email, I thought about this a while, and I thought, just because I don't think it's useful doesn't mean you won't think it's useful. And I'm really obligated to teach you everything about Lightroom so that you know all the ins and outs about the program and you could best process your images. So I'm going to show you how to do this. And I'd be curious to know, if is, is this something that you think you'd be doing when you process your images? So if you could uh, leave it in the comment section below, let me know if this is something that you think you'll be doing. Now, what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to show you some correlations between the basic panel and the histogram. And to do that, I'm going to have my cursor in one spot. I'm going to ask you to look in a different spot. Specifically, if I go down to the basic panel and I hover over the exposure slider, if you go up to the histogram and look, you'll see that the center part of the histogram is highlighted. And when I come off that, you'll see it, it goes away. So the center part is highlighted. That's implying that when you adjust exposure, that's the part of the histogram that will be most affected by the adjustment of exposure. We'll go down to highlights and you'll see just to the right of center is now highlighted. Shadows just to the left of center. Whites far right and blacks far left. Those are the parts of the histogram that get most affected when you adjust any of those sliders. Now similarly if we just hover over the histogram itself and I hover over the middle of the histogram you'll see that the exposure slider is now active I'll come off and you can see it's not active so that is now active and similarly if I go to the right you'll have highlights whites shadows and blacks when you go to the left so those are the parts of the histogram now another thing you might have noticed is when you're hovering over that histogram the cursor changes it turns into this like double arrow thing that's implying that you could actually adjust it right on the histogram and that's what this tip is all about if you want to adjust exposure instead of moving the slider you could go right up here to the histogram click with the left mouse button and then drag to the right and you'll actually be increasing exposure if you look below at the exposure slider you can see as i drag it to the right it's moving to the right if i drag the histogram to the left the exposure slider is moving to the left. So there's a lot of people that live and die by the histogram. They really want their image to be balanced as far as you know the tonal range. So they really like to look at the histogram a lot and make sure that they're doing it uh, so their image is balanced tonally. You could more, I guess, um, visually do that by actually doing it on the histogram. So let's say we want a balanced exposure and that's what we're going for so I would probably move this from where it was more towards the right until we're more balanced and something maybe right around a full stop open so we added about a stop of exposure um, next you could do either shadows or whites I would suggest um, so we would probably move shadows to the left a little bit add a little more depth to the image it's not as flat and we'll go to those uh, uh, highlights and the highlights seem a little bright to me maybe I would move those to the left a little bit too now we're kind of undoing what we did a little bit with the exposure but this is just to my liking this is to my taste you would do this totally different um, now when we go to the far left let's say first and we're at the blacks I want to show you something if I drag this very far to the left you see how this triangle lit up watch I'm gonna move it to the right see how it's not lit up now when I move it to the left it's gonna light up and if I keep moving it to the left it's gonna change colors and if I keep moving 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 move and then finally it just is gonna turn white what it is is you'll see that a color will light up usually before another color meaning you're gonna have red green and blue pixels and if you start to clip red 
first, the triangle will light up red. If you start to clip green first, it's going to light up green and blue, so on. So what you could do is you might want to adjust your whites and blacks to a point where right before it starts, any of the colors start to clip. So you just want to back that off just a little bit. And similarly for the whites, we'll move that to the right till it clips. And then we'll just back it off till we don't have clipping anymore. So that will give you a nice balanced image. Now, one thing I would suggest, this is my opinion on this. I, ex I adjusted the histogram to where I think it's very well balanced. But if I look at the shot, of course, it doesn't look that great. Well, we still have other adjustments. We have contrast, we have clarity, vibrance, and saturation. What you'll find is, as soon as you adjust probably contrast, we're starting to clip. You can see right here. So, in my opinion, you're going to have to jump back and forth between the two adjustments. So, you're going to adjust, uh, increase contrast. You're going to go down and you're probably going to increase clarity. I'm assuming you would increase clarity. Of course, everyone does things different. Maybe add a little vibrance. I don't think it needs any saturation. So now we're starting to clip. So I would have to come back up here to the blacks and I pull that to the left. So, you know, this is assuming I don't want any pixels clipping, which most people don't. So then we move to the right to the whites and we'll pull that back um, just a little bit. So that is a more, I guess, pleasing to my eye shot. Now, personally, again, I prefer to, you know, adjust the sliders, but I mentioned everyone's different. So maybe this is something that you'd really um, like to do. You'd prefer to do it this way. And that's how you do it. That's it for episode 58. I'd like to thank John, who sent me that um, email. And I'm sorry, I kind of, um, I kind of uh, offhand, like dismissed it offhand right away but then like i mentioned more i thought of it the more i thought that this would be something i should show you how to do so thank you john very very much i really appreciate it i like to thank everyone that watches my videos i really do appreciate it i'll talk to you guys soon